A proposed new Egyptian constitution has been backed by 98.1% of the people who voted in a referendum, replacing one introduced by President Mohamed Morsi before he was ousted. Turnout was 38.6% of the 53 million eligible voters, while Egyptians living abroad also took part in the referendum. At least 681,000 Egyptians in 161 countries are registered to vote, but there were only 138 designated polling stations in 127 countries. Sarah Glubb has the story. Hundreds of Egyptians celebrated throughout the country and abroad as almost everyone who cast ballots supported Egypt's new constitution in this week's referendum. Sure, first of all, the referendum. It's a historic opportunity for Egyptians to participate in laying the foundation for a new political system in Egypt. That's what we're trying to do. Constitutions are the founding documents. We will then legislate the laws uh, in different areas. But this is an important referendum. And, and that's why, frankly, I was in Paris, supposed to fly over to Kuwait. I stopped over in Cairo for five hours just to, to participate in the referendum myself and then took on a later flight to come here. In terms of the participation, uh, this, this year we did not allow for mail order votes abroad. Uh, therefore, it was clearly going to be the case that if you don't allow for mailing vote, then those who have to go personally to an embassy or a consulate to vote, those numbers will decrease. In small countries, it's not important. But in large countries, if you're in America or in Canada or in Australia, uh, moving from one part of the country or not is, is, is a little bit more, more difficult. More than 103,000 Egyptians out of 681,000 registered to vote abroad cast their ballots during five days of voting in the constitutional referendum. Turnout was high in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the state of Kuwait and the United Arab Emirates, while voter participation in the US and Europe was also reasonable. Egypt's ambassador to Kuwait, His Excellency Abdel Karim Suleiman, said that more than 29,000 Egyptians residing in Kuwait had cast their ballots in the referendum. So the voter turnout abroad was less in total number than the past. But actually the voter, voter turnout, direct voting, those who came to embassies and concert was higher than in the past. So if you just drop the mail order, uh, the mail uh, voting, the numbers who actually went is higher. Uh, you might find this quite interesting. The largest vo voting abroad for Egyptians was here in Kuwait because we have a large constituency and it's a small, everybody is around Kuwait City. So they were able to come to the concert. It's the largest even though uh, we have many more Egyptians in Saudi Arabia, possibly more in, in, in Emirates, uh, but here there were many more Egyptians participating. Locally in Egypt, uh, it's still going on. It, yesterday was a good turnout, today it continues. I don't know the actual figures, but this is an opportunity for us to participate in building a democracy. We need to seize it. In Egypt, nearly 20 million voters backed the new constitution, almost double the number who voted for one drafted in 2012 under the government of toppled President Mohamed Morsi. Only a narrow sliver of voters, 1.9%, voted against the charter. The state of Kuwait has a large number of Egyptian expatriates and more than 29,000 had cast their ballots in the historic referendum in which the voting process was calm and peaceful and voters were excited and determined with the majority voting yes. This is Sarah Glubb reporting for English News.